Invest 94W has just been designated in the South China Sea and it's trying to consolidate a circulation, a rotation, it's trying to organize. It's looking quite big, which of course is going to be pretty more difficult for the storm to organize and also with the wind shear levels that are present in the in the South China Sea, which also is going to play a good role about the future of this system. Right now it's positioned 17.9 degrees north, 113.4 degrees east. And the outflow of this disturbance is uh, well, bringing some adverse conditions uh, for Vietnam, for Hainan, for China in the southern tip coast and in the western tip coast of Philippines as well. And the current conditions, or well, the current status of the system, winds of only 20 miles per hour sustained. Well, it's still 20 miles per hour is quite, uh, quite important, but well, for a tropical disturbance, it's of course just the beginning of a formation phase. 998 millibars, quite low pressure for a system like this and moving erratically and in the next in the last six hours uh, we saw movement to the southeast at seven miles per hour approximately this is latest at 12 30 hours local time in hong kong 4 30 hours in the universal central time of may the 30th 2024 and the distances from different locations the storm is located about 412 kilometers to the southeast of Haiko, this is in the island of Hainan, 464 kilometers to the south-southeast of Jiangjiang, and 473 kilometers to the south-southeast of Dianbai, both cities in China, more to the north of the Hainan island, and then 475 kilometers to the south of Macau, and 492 kilometers to the south of Hong Kong. We are at code, uh, code blue, possibly we are going to stay uh, with code blue depending on how well this system develops in the next hours, but so far we are still at code blue. Sea surface temperatures, 29 Celsius, which is completely good for a system like this to organize and develop, but as I mentioned previously, the wind shear levels are going to play a really important role in the future of this system since the the winds in the atmosphere are quite moderate which is going to prevent the system to uh, to develop quite quickly and also since the storm is quite big it will also uh, be more difficult for the system to organize quickly so in part this is good news for the people in china but of course still the possibility of flash flooding thunderstorm and rain as the system moves more to the north are still going to be a really important threat to take in consideration and something that people should be prepared for in the next days the gfs model as you can see puts the system as a minimal tropical storm or maybe a tropical as a tropical depression before it makes landfall uh, some quite kilometers in the west from uh, Macau uh, pass passing by near very close to the Hainan island actually and according to this having a pressure of a minimal tropical storm and then quickly dissipating over China and merging nearby or merging uh, with uh, a new low pressure system in the eastern uh, coast of Taiwan which is going to be some eventful days for Taiwan as well with some uh, quiet rain accumulations in the next days as well so it's going to be really important days from, uh, for these locations about the rain accumulations and, in, and flash flooding and possibilities on the next uh, days and as, we, and as we can see as well the final stages of Tropical storm Iwinia, which is going to affect Tokyo and Japan in the next hours, unfortunately. And this is the satellite imagery of this current system, as and you, as you can see, looking pretty sheared, looking quite disorganized, trying to develop some circulation, some rotation, as we saw on the satellite imagery. Practically, there's a lot of 
convection bursts emerging to the southern quadrants of the storm, but in the northern quadrants the storm is quite practically bald, <laughs> not having any kind of uh, clouds or any kind of activity, so of course this is caused by the wind shear that is currently affecting this newly formed uh, tropical disturbance. So it's going to be important to see how the future is going to be with this system. Of course more updates are, are going to come and to be uploaded in our social media and in the next in the next seven or eight hours from the from the release of this video we are going to have a tropical weather bulletin that is going to be presented by Nathan Foy in the next hours the next seven or eight hours from the release of this video so please stay updated as well with that which is going to give you more it's going to give you more information and more complete information about the tropics elsewhere in the world so that's all for today's update about this newly formed system and of course stay tuned in our social media and more to come. Thank you.